Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Linda at Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I know we're all busy and so I really appreciate when you guys um, come and visit me. So on today's video, I wanted to share what I got my brother for Christmas. And um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna look at today. So my brother has not diamond painted before, but he usually likes the same things that I do. Like we both like to color and we both like to do those dot to dots and things like that. So I figured he maybe he would like diamond painting. So I was looking for more of a, a small one and a more inexpensive one on Amazon, but I never know if sometimes I see so many and I don't know if the art is, you know, the artist is not getting paid. So I thought I would just go straight to Diamond Art Club on Amazon because I only wanted one and I didn't want to pay shipping. And if you order on Amazon, although you don't get the points, but you do, you, you get free shipping. So I found this one. I know he's into Harry Potter. I was looking at several other ones. Like, like there was a cute cat one I think he would have liked. Um, so anyway, this is the one I got him. The only thing, and I kitted it up for him because it's his first time. It'll be his first one. And I thought, well, I'll just make it easy for him. I'll buy something for him to kit up in. But then I thought, well, I'll just kit up for him. So that way he could see how it's all done because I probably won't be there when he opens it. So to explain much. But anyway, when I got it, I saw that it was a square and I'm like, oh no, his first diamond painting and I bought him a square. So this is what the diamond painting looks like. And I thought it was just really cute. I know he likes Harry Potter. There were some other ones, but they were kind of expensive and bigger, and I just wanted to get a smaller one for him. So this one has 17 colors, and it has one, two ABs in it. So, um, so yeah, I'm hoping I'll be okay because I know squares are a little bit harder, especially when you're first starting off, starting out. And this is actually a size that I would have liked for my first square diamond painting. I have a square that I'm going to start at the end of this year with my son and it's the Batman one so it's much bigger. But this is one that I would have liked to have done um, first to pr practice. But anyway, so I got this and it comes in this nice box and I thought it was really pretty. And then I, I, did, I did kit it up for him and I got this. So the Art Dot was having a sale on like a lightning deal on Amazon and you could get, I think it was two for, I don't remember the price, but I ended up getting four and um, I thought, oh, well, I will kit his up and I'll try this out and then I could let my viewers know what I think of it. So when you buy the Art Dot, at least the one I got, it came it came with four. You could buy one for $9.99 if you want to just try it out. And what's really nice is they all come together. I think what I'm going to do is get this one and stack it on this one because you could stack these. And since I'm only going to have three now because I'm giving one to my brother, um, I thought I'll just keep the other three and then they'll just stack like that. It will stack it on, but you have to um, see. I don't know if you could see it. But anyway, let's see if I could get it. Um, well, I will have to do that off camera. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to... Okay, well, I am back. I had um, stopped the video because I wanted to make sure that these really did stack. So they do. I was able to get it on. Um, and then they're really nice because they have these doors. So when I was kidding this up for my brother oh and it comes with this but i have another one that i got and i didn't like it the diamonds kind of get stuck on their way down because this is all wonky at least the ones that i have gotten are all wonky and they just kind of get stuck at least for me maybe i'll try this one so i didn't want to give it to my brother because then it would probably if it doesn't work right it'll be more of a frustration than anything so but at first, I would I didn't really care for it too much because they didn't fit a whole lot. At least not as much as I was hoping. <laughs> but, you know, they're only like this size, so 
like that. Another thing is this kit kind of had um, some static, so, and I don't have the um, the dryer sheets to put in here, so I'll have to tell him about that. To, to I think he has dryer sheets. Um, so I just put this on top, which I don't think it's going to stay. The washi tape looks like it's wanting to come off. And then, um, so at first it wasn't fitting a whole, it doesn't, if this bag is, see how there's static in there? Um, if this bag is up to here, it takes about two of these. So like for instance, number 12, and I'm hoping that he will be able to understand my little system here. So his is 12 and this is 12. And yeah, so these two are 12. But hopefully he won't, I'll let him know. Maybe I'll call him or something after he opens it. Cause... So, but in the end I liked it because it, this is 32 I believe in here. And I took some out as you can see, cause I have these here. Um, I liked it for a small kit actually. So I think what I'm going to do is use these for smaller kits. I'm not sure, I know some people use it to store their extra drills. So this comes off. There's like a little uh, open space in the back that will let you pop this out. So what I did was I just put a piece of washi tape. Let me get one from the other one. So it has this plastic right here that will protect it. And then, so what I did was I got this out, I put a strip of washi tape on it so that way it'll come off easily. You can always trace this and make another one, but just to make it easy for my brother, I put a washi tape on the back and then for night flight, I just cut that off from the sticker right here. And then I put that on there so that way it'll look nice and pretty and it's all ready. So this one has 17 colors. So I had a lot of extra space. Right, um, here's an extra one that I put that was able to fit in here. And then I have one, two, three, four, five that were um, too big for one container. So I still have more of the 312, so I just left it in the bag. And I thought, well, when, it, when he's ready for it, he can open this. Although it has a lot of static, so I'm gonna have to tell him to, what to do or to give him some tips. If, I don't know if my tips will be any good. <laughs> the only thing I know is the dryer sheets. So I have some extra ones and then I was able to fit the kit in here. So the kit, I opened it up and I went ahead and put it in with a tray, the wax and the cover minder that came with that one, the washi tape, the extra baggies and the, I put an extra pen in here I think it came, oh no I didn't, I was going to. I was gonna put another pen. So it came with the, the pen and then the tweezers. So yeah, so this one had a lot of static. See how that one? So hopefully, I'm just gonna to have to tell him to put some dryer sheets in there, some pieces and see if that will help because I really feel bad sending him a kit that has um, static. So right here was I just put the extra number, so 13, uh, we'll go with 13 right here. And then on here, I put the DMC code just to make sure in case he took the lid off and didn't know which one it goes back on with. So I did that. So yeah, hopefully he will like that it's all kitted up for him. And um, if he likes diamond painting, I can go get him another kit. Uh-oh, how did I have that? Let's see. But I do like that these will fit the small ones. So... Yeah, I think this is gonna work out for me with some other kits that I get. There are some smaller ones that I would like to get. There's that unicorn one that I gave away I would like to get and I could kit that up in here, so in one of these. So yes, and it comes in this box. And the easiest way to get these out is just kind of put all put the lid back and the sides and then just carefully, you know, flip it over and just shimmy it out like that. I tried taking it out from the top and I couldn't, so I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna tip it over and get it out like that. So I hope you like this video. I know it's a short one, but I just wanted to share what I got for my brother because these probably won't be around too much longer. And I thought um, I'd also give you an idea of my thoughts on these. So, so <clears throat> excuse me. At first I really wasn't 
uh, liking it. But I guess, <clears throat> but like I said, I thought these would be great for a small kit. So then you could just take it off. And then if it's like, a, like this one with 17, it's nice because then you could just take out all the extras. And I'll give my brother the extra ones that I took out. And then you could just put everything you need if it's just a basic kit. I'm sure you can fit some of the other items in here as well. But it just seems like, you know, just put everything in there so you're good to go. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Remember to live a life filled with color. Cut so much prettier that way. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.